Um, in this video we're going to look at finding the volume and the surface area of rectangular solids and prisms. So rectangular solids, so like you know, like a brick or a Toblerone or things like that. Okay, so these objects are 3D. The first thing to notice is when we're talking about volume, our answers are going to be in centimeters cubed. Okay? So basically a centimeter squared or 3D. Alright? Now if we're talking about surface area it'll still be centimeter squared but anything to do with volume, anything 3D well then it'll be in um, centimeters cubed so if we're asked to find the volume of something what they're really asking is how much stuff will fit in these um, these shapes or these, these 3D objects okay whereas if they're asking about the surface area they're looking at all the different sides of the object and if you light them out flat how many centimeters squared would you be able to fit flat on top of it? Okay, right. First thing we're going to look at is volume. Um, usually, when you're looking at volume, people will say multiply the length by the height by the depth, or the length by breadth by height, or something like that. What I prefer to say is get the area of the face. Okay, so if you look at this question, get the area of the face. That means get the area of the front piece. And when you do that, which your answer? Multiply it by the depth. Okay. There's a reason I say that is because it'll make the circles and different things like that a bit easier when we get to it. Right, so best thing I can do is just go ahead and do it. I'm going to find the volume of both of these first. Right, I'm going to get the area of the face. Well, the area of the face is 2 multiplied by 3. And that'll give me 6. Multiply by answer then by the depth, which is 5. So 6 by 5 will give me 30. And it's volume, so centimeters cubed. So basically, 30 of these centimeters cubed will fit into this object. Right, the same over with our rectangular prism. We get the area of the face first, so it's a triangle, so it'll be half base by perpendicular height. So it'll be half 4 multiplied by 3, uh, which is 6 again. So multiply that by 5 then, that's the depth, and we'll get. 30. So just a coincidence, it's the same answer. 30 centimeters squared. Okay. Right, next thing. We're going to look to get the surface area. Often in this it's better to, to do a little sketch of the object. Right, so surface area, we get the area of all the sides and then we add it together. First thing I'll do is I get the area of this. And the handiest thing to do is just a quick sketch, just to see how many sides there is. Well, there's a front anyway. That's 3 by 2. And there's a back that's going to be the exact same, 3 by 2. There's the top then, and that'll be 5 back the way and 3 across. There'll be a bottom which will be the exact same. There'll be a side which will be 2 and 5 back, so 2 and 5 back. And another side, 2 and 5 back. Okay. Once I have that, the rest is pretty easy. We get the area of them all, so to get the area, it's um, base by height. So 2 by 3, 6, 6, 15, 15, 10, and 10. And then we add them up. So 30, 40, 50, 62. Right? That's when I add them up. 62 centimeters squared because it's surface area. Okay, so likewise getting the surface area of this um, prism. Well, we we'll draw it out first. So we have one triangle in the front, one triangle in the back, three and four perpendicular height, three and four perpendicular height. Um, the two sides are going to be rectangles. Maybe just imagine a Toblerone. Okay, the two sides are rectangles. Now let's see how um, big these rectangles are. So it's going to be three, or sorry, it's going to be five back the way. But we don't know what this slant height is. Okay, we haven't a clue yet. But let me just figure that out. Well, I know the height of this is 4, and I know that's a right angle triangle here. And I know the whole length across is 3, so then half of it, because okay, remember this is that bit of triangle we're only looking at the right side, is 1.5. Right angle triangle. I have two sides. I want to find the third. I can use Pythagoras' theorem. H squared equals A squared plus O squared. So H squared equals, um, I'll call this A, I'll call that O, and that's H. So 
4 squared plus 1.5 squared h squared equals 16 plus 2.25 h squared equals 18.25 so h equals um, 4.27 ok so just a rerun on Pythagoras is here so that means um, the distance back is 5 and the width of it is 4.27 and the same here and then the base will be 3 and back 5 ok so we get the area of all of these and we've half, half base with perpendicular height so that's 6, that's 6 um, that is 21.25 I think uh, yeah it's 21.25 again and that's 15 we add them all up um, we will get 42.5 I think it's 64.75 just make sure on the path there so we add all those up together and we'll get 69.5 centimeters because it's an area okay right, that's it that helped thank you